Yeah, we spoke with one of the disaster responders with the Red Cross as they were getting ready to leave from Will Rogers World Airport. They talked about what they will be doing once they get there, but also how the pandemic is changing, how this response is going to be different. Till the community is able to heal. Serena Cable is just one of 17 members of the Oklahoma, Kansas Red Cross making their way to the Gulf Coast ahead of Hurricane Marco's landfall later this week. Setting up the shelter and running it after the storm has hit. Cable will be there for at least two weeks helping those in the potential disaster zone. She's been a volunteer for more than a decade and has been on numerous missions before. But this trip will be like one she's never been on before because of the pandemic. We're having to wear our masks 24 seven, except for when we're sleeping. She says they will also be wearing protective glasses and sanitizing. One of the hardest changes though, not being able to comfort those in need. We would hug people, we would, you know, touch their shoulder or maybe they need to, to hold their hand. But with the pandemic, we can't even get close to them. We have to do a virtual hug. Reporting from Oklahoma City, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.